Hey folks, so I um, just want to show you how to put this, um, get this looser approach together in your work, okay? Um, and it's a lot to do with um, brushwork and choice of brush, probably more importantly, choice of brush. I'm just going to show you some options here um, of the brushes I might use when I'm wanting to go into that looser style. So looking at last week's painting, um, which if you remember, you know, we, we, the, 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 this, this one took a lot longer because I was demonstrating very specific uh, uh, techniques and effects. Um, and in the process, I, re I end up with this, what you will, I'm sure agree with me by the end of this version is, is a tighter, uh, finish okay not to say this per se this is a tight looking painting but it's all relative you know the loose style is it, the loose style is a very broad sort of um it's a it's a big umbrella if you like okay with many variations some leaning towards more abstract some leaning towards uh, a tighter photographic sort of style and i sort of if i had to sort of pigeonhole this version it's somewhere in the middle towards tight so I'm going to show you here, um, you know, the, 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 the move towards something a lot looser. And um, so back to the brushes, it's very important to choose uh, the appropriate. So again, look at how I'm creating the edge of my shapes. The brush is turned this way and pushed, okay, like this. Um, I'm going to just put a hint of a, a bank line, dark bank line back there. And I'm waiting for this to dry off a little bit because big brush will, uh, will force you to use more paint. Here's our area of this little uh, waterside shrub here. And if I wanted a dark, line over here then I simply pick up a lot of paint with less water in it and that will give me a darkened uh, lower area to this water side uh, tree not careful I'll get I'll confuse myself I'm just going to put the round brush aside for a moment so I better make sure that there's no paint left in this because I want to create that lovely softness in the water so I'm cleaning this brush and, I, and again just to give you uh, an idea of scale here this is a 15 by 11 piece of paper this is a two inch wide flat brush and um, and I, as I say, I'm sure that that's what deters people. They 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 dismiss the thought. Well, you can't do that. You you couldn't possibly use a, a great big massive decorator's ugly brush and and have such finesse or such such um, inferred things will get you there. Now then, here's what I these this is my approach for inferred detail. So instead of putting in as we might do, you know, perhaps when we set out. We put in a little briquette like this off the point of the brush. Just, just make contact with the with the paper. Um, sometimes tapping keep, keep the whole painting look loose. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to just run the hairdryer over it over it because I want to sort of almost restart the painting like we were um, in the beginning, but this time achieving more definition to some of the shapes. might not be absolutely bone dry, but it's dry enough for me to be able to do the next stage. I have options all the time. I want to show you as many of these options as possible. Now, I could put my figures in. I think we'll put the figures in the same place as we put them last week. So they're just sort of entering the bridge from our side um, before they actually go under the bridge. Um, now, if you've got a good quality round brush with a good point, you can do what I'm about to do with that, and I'll, I'll show you. I'll, I'll paint one figure with um, with the big brush, and the other figure with the small brush, and you won't be able to tell the difference from which one over there. This one's going to be done with the big brush. 
brush skills, brush craft, call it what you want. It, it's a, uh, it, it, it's something I, I always, I think, gets overlooked a lot. To work off the belly of the brush, not the point. You only need the point for the head and the legs. The point of the brush, head, legs, okay? For the torso of the figure, it's just the belly of the brush. Water's edge down here. Let's let's just get now into putting in um, a little more inferred detail. So loading the brush again with the both with both the colors, but very little water, very little water. Take some from there. And uh, I might sort of suggest that there's some shadowy shapes within this uh, right hand side over here. Is. is it right? Is it uh, are the have I got my dark tones where I want them? Have I kept my light tones where I want them? So let's um, join those figures up a little bit better. Uh, yeah, let's put the mount around it. Let's see where we are. So I hope you agree there's a huge difference between this loose style and this. I mean, remember that this took me close to probably two hours, um, if I remember. I was editing the video of this. And I think this was a two hour painting. I mean, it, it wouldn't have been, even this one wouldn't have been two hours had I not been doing a demonstration and had to talk all the way through it. So this would have perhaps taken me about an hour um, in total. Um, but if I wasn't doing this as a demonstration, I was doing it in my own space and my own time and I wasn't talking. This is a, a 20 minute painting. Um, and I do not want, to dictate and influence the the individual's taste and preference here i don't so i want you to take that into account as well um everybody has their own sort of cut off point as to what is loose and what is tight um you know all the way over to the one side of abstract to the opposite side of photorealism in between those two extremes there are these degrees of impressionism and loose um style paintings so you need to find your own resting spot if you like your own the com comfort zone um your own preference but that's what it's all about that's the wonderful thing about what we do um it's 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 therein lies the enjoyment you know is is taste and uh personal taste and uh, as a painter how you want to see your finished work. So I hope you enjoyed this, folks, and um, I'll see you next time.